Okay, while well, I'm here, I decided to continue cleaning up this head. So I'm removing the studs so I can clean up the gasket surfaces. To get the studs out, we use the two 14mm nuts that go on at factory, tighten them against each other, and then use the inside one to undo it. And once it's cracked and moving freely, which it is, looks like it is. Nope. This is the first one that's not playing the game. There we go. Now the stud's cracked. Good morning, YouTube and the internet. Uh, last night stripping this head. Uh, I tried to show you how to pull the studs out. I've had a look. The video sort of cuts out just as it frees up, but yeah, I think you get the idea. If I have to do another one in the future, I'll show it a bit better detail. But what happened was on the last stud, I'm sure you're enjoying looking at the top of my head, where did the stud go? Hmm. I've lost the stud. These are all the ones I pulled out successfully. And there's one well, half of it is still in there. So <clears throat> now I have the displeasure of doing a how to use an easy out. So hot side's done. Let's see if I can show you how to do this in a side. So I've just wound the two nuts on. I've bound them against each other like I did on the previous video. Let's stop short. And then we just bind them together a bit more. together a bit more. I'm pretty sure this should come out of the head. I'm not 100% but I'm fairly. Here we go. And now it's cracked you can just ratchet it off. Now that was probably 10 times more force than snap that uh, exhaust stud on the other side but those exhaust studs undergo a lot of Added stresses from uh, the heat cycles that they go through, hardens them. And then we just free them up, wind the nuts off, and it's job done. 